what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i'm going to be talking about the creeper's truck and how it was portrayed in the third film and why it absolutely made no sense it cannot be nothing that anyone is going to say in the comment section is going to justify what i am saying in this video if you would like to still try to justify any of this nonsense you can by all means go right ahead it's not really going to amount to anything because of the fact that it just does not make sense getting into it as we all know in the original film the creepers truck it was simply that it was a truck uh nothing in the first film indicated anything in regards to uh the truck having uh harpoons coming out of the exhaust pipe or all these with all these traps and gadgets none of that stuff was uh was was hinted at or even remotely teased in the first film and i'm not saying if that stuff had been done in the first film that i would have i would have been uh i would have had a problem with it it's just a simple fact that the third film itself it all comes down to the fact that the third film itself is said to be set right after the first movie so for the truck to be doing all of the stuff that is doing in the movie that is set immediately after events that just occurred that's kind of ridiculous so it's it's basically going to create question marks it's creating question marks to anyone in the audience and anyone who has paid attention to what they watched it's it's it becomes cartoonish and it becomes a joke of what was done in the in the previous movie because if the third film itself is set immediately after the first movie where was all this stuff with the truck in the first movie none of this stuff was happening in the first movie because it was not originally planned to ever occur or be a factor with this truck that is made apparently that is made uh blatantly clear for everyone who has read the cathedral script so again anyone who wants to go into the comment sections and try to justify this you're not you're not helping the case here you're just you're just trying to make excuses um for complete nonsense and illogical writing the way the truck is portrayed in this film is absolutely mind-blowing to me because all it needed to be was a simple truck and i'm like why is half of this budget or most of this budget going into doing all of this weird stuff with the truck the truck had harpoons coming out of the exhaust pipe it had like uh, bars that dropped down traps were installed onto this thing uh it's just it, it was just very ridiculous to see because it was, it clearly was nothing more than just a simple truck in the first film uh, we do not know where it was in the second film the third movie also does not address where where it went or what happened to it why it did not appear in the second film and then again for anyone who has read the cathedral script you see for yourself the truck is not doing any of the stuff that it actually was doing in this third film it's not dropping bombs uh like we're playing around a mario kart it's not shooting harpoons out of the exhaust pipe. It's not doing any of that stuff. It's just a simple truck. In the in the script that was Jeepers Creepers Cathedral, the film we were supposed to get, the truck is just how it was in the first movie because that's what it was. It was just a truck. So... ...make arguments as to, as to why how the truck is portrayed in the third film makes any sense don't even bother don't do not bother even doing that because if you have read the cathedral script you see for yourself this is something that was just contrived and something that was just done for the sake of doing it for this movie and specifically in the original script for jeepers creepers 3 the truck did not do any of these things and the truck it regardless of whether it was doing it or not to begin with in the original film that's that's besides the point the truck was just a truck so for the fact that we have a film that is claiming to be set immediately after the first movie and it is doing all of these things is absolutely ridiculous because it clearly was not doing these things in the first movie and as far as like everyone complaining about the creepers powers in regards to him controlling the truck with his mind that's that's not even an issue that's something that was teased in the second film that the creeper had uh other powers to him because we saw the one of his blades fly out of Taggart's hand as if he was trying to return to the creeper uh there was a whole bunch of stuff that we saw in the second film that indicated that he had a few other additional powers to him but other than that with this whole truck nonsense it's, it's just that it's nonsense there's no reason to try to argue and justify how the truck is portrayed none of this stuff made any sense the way the truck was it was just something that was just so unbelievable to see something that i just couldn't really have um i can't accept that i, I can't 
accept something being so forced and contrived when I have read an original script that clearly demonstrated and portrayed the truck the same way it was in the first film. So it's like, why did we make such a significant jump for a film that's claiming to be set only mere seconds after your original film, but in your original script for your third film, which is set 23 years later, it's the exact same truck that it was 23 years ago. It's just such a significant, um, just a significant jump, too much of a significant jump for a film that is set mere seconds after a predecessor. For a truck to be doing these types of things that it was not doing all those, all those mere seconds ago, that's absolutely ridiculous. And the creeper being able to control the truck and him possibly having telekinesis and stuff, that's fine and dandy. That's not that that's not an issue to me at all. Um, it really just comes down to the truck and these these Mario Kart sequences that we got in the film, all of these things, the truck being bulletproof, all of that stuff was just flat out ridiculous to me. Anyone who agrees with me or wants to try to combat this, post your comments down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media social media accounts on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And also, in the comment section, I will have the link to the Facebook group pinned at the very top. Join that group and get updates on Jeepers Creepers and talk to other subscribers of this channel. And then just post any recommendations you want to, you want to about uh, what I should do going forward in the future. Uh, with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.